Well, hello there. So to use Google Forms to allow your students to check in and check out for documentation purposes um, from cosmetology, uh, first thing you're going to need to do is to create the Google Form. So to do that, you can go to drive.google.com and if you look on the far right, you should see that you are logged in with your main or ISD address. You'll see our banner over there. And then if you would go to the far left and underneath the drive symbol, click new, and then you're going to go down to where it says more and you're going to click on Google forms. Now the default here looks like it's going to be purple. So you can change the colors and whatnot by clicking on the customize the theme and you can change the color or you could actually go up here and they have some images already created for you. And so you can choose one of those. I don't know. Let's see if we can find something with a cosmetology feel. And you know what? Rather than uh, that, here's a nice butterfly. So we'll use that for now. You can actually do custom banners too, but that's another video. So I'm going to go ahead and select and change the theme. And that'll change this, the color theme and also the picture up top. Now I'm going to go ahead and title this and we're going to title this. We'll just say for now, cosmetology. There we go. So yeah, miss the E. So once you've done that, you can just do some simple questions here. Now, one of the things that uh, I was thinking about with this is you can actually, if you click on settings, you can actually collect email addresses and you can restrict to users in the main or independent school district. But the, the issue with that is then your students are going to have to be logging into their Google on the two iPads that you're going to have the Google form on and that's then they're going to have to log out so that the next student's going to be able to log in and I felt like that was going to be kind of onerous so we're going to want to uncheck that box and then we're not going to want to limit it to one response and then uh, you can choose to edit after some submission or you can just leave it like that and then I'm just going to go ahead and press save so for the first question, you know, I would do it, you know, uh, last name and then you see how it automatically changes over here to short answer. You can click on that and choose paragraph, multiple choice questions, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do a short answer and then I'm going to require this question and then let's say uh, first name. And then one thing that might be really good for this, you might even want to, instead of doing last name and first name, you might actually just want to create a question that is, what's your student number? Because that's a unique identifier. Um, because what's going to happen here is once they have responses to this, you'll have a Google Sheet that'll have all this in it. So something to think about would be student number there. And then uh, I guess you were wanting to do the time in and the time out. So over here on the far right, I'm going to click that and then there should be a thing where we can do the time. The date will already be collected, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so the time in, let's see. And then you can duplicate this and maybe do time out. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm not quite sure if this is going to work or not. So we'll have to test that out. Um, I'm thinking that if they're doing this at the same time, it might collect that time, but we'll see. So now um, I want to take a look at what we've created. So I'm going to go over here to the eyeball and preview it. So I click on that and this gives me a preview. Okay. Last name, first name, uh, student number, and then time in and looks like you can change AM to PM and time out and then they would just press submit. And then what you can do is um, you can, I'm going to go back to the, this over here and uh, to what we we're working on. And uh, actually we never titled that. So let me go ahead and back and title it. So up top here on the top left, I'm going to make sure, yeah, it's titled cosmetology. So um, what I'm thinking here is that uh, you might want to take out the last name and the first name and just leave a student number 
and then the time in and time out if that's enough for you that's great if not if you want to add something you can simply go over here to the plus button and that will add a question for you and then uh, you can choose the required or not I'm gonna go ahead and trash this and of course you can choose the type from right here um, Google Google Forms is a pretty awesome tool so let's go back to just to go over this this button right here allows us to customize the theme and then this allows us to preview it and then over here in settings this actually allows us to go in here and if we wanted to collect email addresses restrict users to MISD and so on and so forth um, really don't need anything with the presentation we're not making this a a quiz you can actually send a little message there but that shouldn't be necessary because the next student's going to want to check in and out too so i'm going to go uh leave this right here done show link to submit another response so that the next student they just got to press it so now we have this and i'm actually going to go over here and click on these vertical dots it says more and then i'm going to add a collaborator and actually that collaborator is going to be you. So let me look up this email and add you uh, to this. All right, so. And there you showed up pretty quick. And then I'm going to choose notify people and then I'm going to send it to you. And then I'm gonna press done. Of course, you can add other people as owners and whatnot or excuse me as collaborators to your own form or what I could do on this one is actually I can um, switch it over and make you the owner uh, if you would like to do that or you can make your own form so really your choice but I'll go ahead and make you owner this for now and I'm gonna say save changes and I'm transferring the ownership and the new owner will be notified so um, yeah, you're going to you're going to be the owner of this, so you're going to be able to do what this with this whatever you want, or you can go back and create your own. So, I'm going to press yes. So that's done now. So now you actually are the owner of this Google form. So what I would do is I would go over here to the send button and you see this little thing right here, this gives us a link. Now I can actually uh, shorten that and then I'm going to actually shorten it a little more. I'm going to make a copy of it by pressing this. And then I'm going to go to a website that I use quite frequently called tinyurl.com. And then I'm going to enter that tiny URL, or excuse me, enter that, that URL that was there. And then I'm going to try to make up something of my own. So I'll, you know, I guess it would be Cosmo SP. Just C O S M. So, um,. Make tiny URL and you can use whatever you want. So it looks like that actually worked. So I'm going to copy that and that's something I'll send to you also. So now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to take that URL and enter that into your, uh, say, Safari or your Google Chrome on one of those iPads. And it'll be a lot easier than entering out, entering in that whole uh, long URL. So I hope this helps. Please send me an email or uh, you can give me a phone call. My number is on there too. And uh, you have a great day and let me know if you have any questions. All right.